I need you to tell us what happened today at school, Matson. I said I'd get him back for her. No one was supposed to take her place. She took him, and I... I'm sorry, Matson. But we'll need much more than that. Tell me what happened in detail, from the beginning. And this is why I feel school should be banned. Okay, Ava, you next. Today, I'll be talking about 21st century accessories for us teens. Is it the usual lip gloss? The nerdy glasses or the sling bags? I beg to differ. The old time favorite accessory for us teens is the sugar daddy. Our very own personal chauffeur. What do you feel when you're lying in bed at night? Do my fellow friends' shame and guilt ever pay you late night visits? Clearly not. Tell me! Where do you even get the audacity to look at your reflection each morning? The biggest struggle I had to overcome was surviving me. I was my own biggest enemy. I was responsible for my own destruction. I allowed your selfish ways to affect me. As I am, people might see a girl destroyed. A girl who has accomplished nothing and sabotaged everything. Dad. You used to be here to catch every tear before it hit the floor. You kissed my tear-stained face and made me smile. You gave us security that we will never find again. Now I wipe my own tears and attempt to smile. But you know what? You don't know what you're going to lose. Oh, we're definitely going to lose. Freak thing she is. I know, right? She just attacked you out of nowhere. It was too shady. But moving on to more serious matters, I need to tell you something. But you can't tell a soul. Yeah, sure. I promise. Well, you know I'm going out with Daniel, right? And. Well, I missed my period this month. That's when I was convinced I was doing the right thing. I had the responsibility to make sure that my family wasn't going to disintegrate even further. the old man you're sleeping with didn't tell you that he has a wife and a daughter. Please don't kiss me. I promise I'll stop seeing him. I promise. I wanted her to beg for mercy. To beg for her life. Just like I had yearned for my family. You have no idea what it feels like to hold somebody's life in your own hands just to be in control. I wanted that instant where she would look into my eyes and realize that I had all the power. At that moment, I held her world in my hands. And I dropped it. <laughs> 